And just like that, the Baxter Patrick James Island Library is open. The 20,000 square foot building is located on South Grimble Road, and the community lined up to explore it Saturday morning. It has so much color, so much books. You know, you can even have your self check out. So I really think it's awesome. Patrons are already checking out books and movies, returning items through the automated materials handling conveyor system, and signing up for library cards. If you don't have a library card, now's a wonderful time to get one. As we welcome people into the Baxter Patrick James Island Library for the first time, they're learning we have a lot more than books. This branch has a designated children's and teen space, meeting rooms, dozens of computers, and a creative studio with a sewing machine, 3D printer, and more. I'm hoping for the community that they will see this as their gathering spot um, for, for reading, for leisure, for meetings, for study, for whatever they would like to do. I'm hoping that they will see what a resource the public library is in the fact that, um, of course, you can come here and check out whatever book you would like, but we can actually help you um, with your resume and your cover letters. We can help you with schoolwork. Uh, we can help you um, do research for projects that you want just for personal, professional um, interest, and that we are a resource for a lot of areas in uh, the public interest. When asked how often she would visit the new library, one young patron said, Really 24-7. <laughs> this is the second of five new branches paid for by a voter-approved referendum passed in 2014. For more information about upcoming programs and events at the Baxter Patrick James Island Library, visit ccpl.org.